good afternoon and welcome to what I hope will be a decent instructional video for this light system, which is called Bamboo Mini LED Grow Light Garden, which I got from Gardener Supply. And if you are watching this video, it's because you pulled out these, uh, this sad, pathetic excuse for directions. So, I got one put together and it's working. I actually, look at that, isn't it exciting? I had to call and get a replacement light ordered because the light that I actually originally hooked up did not work. So they are super helpful when you call with something like that. But these directions are a travesty. So I'm going to attempt to put the second one together and try to give you some good instructions. So, first thing is just to get it completely unboxed. It's sitting in a box on the floor. I'm going to adjust this camera so you can see the very exciting unboxing. And then I'm gonna go through the parts list because this here, like, hey, parts list, but we're not giving you any pictures of the parts. So, okay, uh, I can't get the camera aimed down at the floor just yet, but that's okay. Um, I'll just start unboxing things. So, this is the package for the actual light, and it does come with a cord. Like I said, I had to get mine, Ooh, a new one ordered, so, you know, whatever. The interesting thing about the light is you will see that it has two different plugs. There's a plug on that side and there's a plug on that side. And when you, you think, oh, cool. It just doesn't, it doesn't matter what side it comes out of. That's actually not true. So before you put anything together, um, you can figure out which one fits. So that fits. It doesn't fit on the other side. That extra plug apparently is for an extension if you get like a longer light system. Oh, hey, it's spam. It's always spam. So that's the light. All right. Excuse the grunting and the groaning as I unpack this stuff. And, oh, let me go find the scissors. Excuse me. Oh, there they are. My cat is currently sitting outside wondering why I'm not paying attention to him. Okay. So this box has the steel tray that goes in the bottom, or galvanized, I guess. Really awesome. It is waterproof. So I'm really happy about that. This is on top of some bookcases that I got at Hobby Lobby. If you're watching this, at the end of June 2023, then get yourself to Hobby Lobby because they've got these shelves on sale. They're apparently what they used to do their displays on. Okay, these are the world's worst scissors, but so. I'll be sure to put chapters in this video if you just want to skip to the good stuff. Um, they do pack it really, really well, which is good because this box looked like somebody had been playing games with it. So here's the galvanized tray. Apparently you can actually buy a tray to go in the top, which I did not know. So I'm going to order some extra trays. So I'm just going to leave that up there. Now comes the fun part. Really, really hoping that this isn't damaged because the box was a mess when I got it. All right, let's see here. A few moments later. Okay, so you can see it's packed up really, really tightly, which is awesome. Let me get this all pulled apart and then I will kind of show you the, the bits. Okay, so 
We've got, um, yeah. So the long pieces, these things here are the top and the bottom. Um, and I, like I keep having to stare back at it just to make sure. Top and the bottom. And then the short pieces here are the sides, I think. Yes, okay, I'm correct. All right. Then we have these rails um, that go on the... <laughs> You're like, really? You know how to do this? One, two, three. Two on the bottom, two on the top. Okay. Rails. All right. Okay. And then various and sundry pieces. I'm not going to be putting this on the wall, so I'm just going to leave this whole packet here with the little wooden pieces. That's to put it on the wall. All right. Hardware pack. Uh, let's see. Where's a good place to put this? <sighs> I'll put it in this box so that I don't lose everything. I'm just going to sit down here on the moderately dirty floor and go through each of the pieces. This is a completely off the cuff demonstration, so like literally, this is crooked. Okay, there we go. Going off of a list. Uh, top frame is the one with two pre-drilled holes. So you have to pull these apart and remember the long ones are the top ones and we literally have the tiniest little, can you see that little bitty hole right there? So those are the two pre-drilled holes. So this is the top. The other one also has two pre-drilled holes. So yeah, it doesn't matter. One is the top, one is the bottom. So top frame, bottom frame. Um, then we have the two side frames. And you will see these are exactly the same. So there are these holes drilled in it. There's a big one and a small one in each set. Big one, small one, big one, small one, so on and so forth. So that's gonna be important. Put that there. All right, my computer's squawking at me, but I have logged out for the day. I'm now sitting because I was killing my knees. Okay, next thing is the rails. That will be these right here, rails. And then, this is where we get into the fun stuff. We've got the light clips here. And so they're like light clips and small screws. And you're like, okay. They come in a little baggie, so yay for that. Light, light clips here. Teeny weeny screws here. You do need a Phillips screwdriver, so I need to go get my Phillips. I'm gonna put these off to one side. I'll, uh, I'll move the camera in a second and I'll show you how I've got just everything organized here. All right, so small screws, bolts. That's these guys here. They're long and there are eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are a decent size and you will notice that these will be um, screwed in with your hex tool, which they give you. So there's that. I'll put those right there along with the hex tool. The bolts will go into these um, cross dowels, which has like a little, it looks like a Phillips, but it doesn't really work very well. I did find that you could just gently put them in with your fingers, tighten everything up. You didn't actually need a Phillips. So there's eight of those. Galvanized tray, I put over there. I'm going down the list on here. Feet. That's the little wooden thing that I showed you. I'm not doing the feet because they look really pretty without the feet. Um, we do have wooden dowels, eight of those. 
wooden dowels. And then we've got these little clamps. I don't even know what those are for. I didn't use them. I didn't feel the need to use them. All right, then we've got hollow wall anchors, which if you're gonna be putting these on the walls, you will need. I'm not gonna be putting this on the wall, but I will try to show you where that goes. So you've got these little hanging clips to put it on the wall. And then you've got the screws and the hollow wall anchors for that. It does look like it would go pretty decently on the wall, but my husband nixed that idea. And I'm okay with that because it's kind of a pain hanging things on the wall. And then it says medium screws. And I just, I'm gonna ask you, like, does that look medium to you? Is it a medium screw, that thing right there? I don't think so either. Um, yeah, so four itty bitty medium screws. Let me show you what each of these things looks like. Okay, this is the above view of the parts. You can see I've laid them out in the box. So we have the light clips on the left. We have the bolts next to that hex tool. We have the cross dowels that the bolts are gonna go into. We have the wooden dowels. We have little black doohickeys that I'm not sure what those are for. Up in the right corner, we've got the stuff to hang it. I am definitely um, considering my life choices in doing this demo, but this was a pain yesterday, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. All right, so it says, place the top frame, look for the pre-drilled holes, place up, place up, face up on a flat surface, align the holes with those in the light clips and secure with the small screws. So um, first thing to realize is that both of these have the pre-drilled holes. Like there's nothing special about either of these. You're like, but which one's the top? Whichever one you want it to be. So um, I would say that you should use the one that says, uh, has the sticker on it made in China for the bottom, simply because I tried picking off that sticker and it just didn't want to come off. So, hey buddy. Uh, so I'm gonna use the one that has nothing on it for the top. And there's these tiny little drilled holes. I mean, yeah, super tiny right there. But this is really, really easy because you've got these little clippies and you're going to put them and you're gonna take the itty bitty little screws and uh, we are going to do this. All right. Okay, so Phillips screwdriver and off we go. I did notice yesterday that when I was doing this, you really have to press down on the screw because it is going to try to strip. So you really have to lean into it, press it to get it in there. It's already, yeah. And I actually had to take one out and put it in the other side. I don't remember why. So yeah, that was kind of a pain. The good news is, is that it's still gonna hold the light up even if it's not a thousand percent secure. So put this on the other side. Eek. Thanks for watching along with me as I do this. Okay, really? My fingers aren't small enough for this action. I normally do like music videos, talk about music. So this is kind of, <sighs> give me two seconds here. This is kind of out of my wheelhouse. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get this lined up. Here we go. All right. Really, really small and they're not magnet. I don't have a magnetized screwdriver, so. Okay, this one for whatever reason is going in a lot smoother than the other one. So these are nice and tight now. Ow, also a little sharp. So if I get this one tightened up a little bit more. 
Nope. Oh my goodness, that's annoying. Okay, it doesn't really matter though because it's still gonna go in. I know this because I put it together last night. Okay, what next? Locate the pre-drilled holes. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. Okay, so this is the top. It's got the light clips on it. You can kind of see that. And it's going off to the side now. We won't mess with it until we're done. Okay, so locate the four pairs of pre-drilled holes on each corner of a side frame. And they do mean a side frame. Pick one. That's, you know, just pick one because they're both the same. Okay, so there are four pairs. So you're looking at this and you're like, well, there are four pre-drilled holes on this side. One, two, three, four. Which side, what? Four pairs of pre-drilled holes. One, two, three, four. You're gonna insert a wooden dowel into the larger hole in each pair. Okay, so the thing is, you're looking for these holes right here. There's a larger one and a smaller one. And it's not like the larger ones on the outside and the smaller ones are on the inside. Larger ones are just like here, 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 here. I showed you that earlier. Now it says, note the bottom of each side frame is identified by small pre-drilled holes for attachment of the optional feet. So here are the, I think the pre-drilled hole, good grief. Um, you can see those, yeah. Okay, for the optional feet. Wooden dowel into the four larger ones. And honestly, if you try to put the smaller ones, it's not gonna fit, so you're welcome. Yeah, that was easy. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, now comes the fun part. Using figure two as a reference, align the end of a rail, I'm gonna grab a rail, of a rail, There, are, it doesn't matter which one you grab, with an end frame corner. Now you do need to use this as a reference. So let's see here. You're gonna look at the picture. And you're gonna see, so here is this setup. So dowel, 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 dowel. These are the sides. The two little drilled holes are the bottom. So this is the bottom. And you're going to take the rail, and this is where it gets a little iffy. And let's see here. Um, uh, this way. This way, okay, I've turned it. So here is the rail, and here's the little place where you're gonna slide the frame in. And you can only do it one way. You're gonna slip it on there with the wooden dowel. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. And I'm trying to figure out the best way to show this to you. So basically what you're gonna do now is you're gonna drop one of these. Let me back up here so you can see it a little bit better. You're gonna drop this little, they call it a cross dowel. It doesn't look anything like a wooden dowel. And it's got a little hole, and you're gonna drop it in there so that this large bolt will basically screw into it. It's pretty simple. If you've ever put it put together furniture from like Walmart, Ikea, whatever, they generally have these things where you like put them in and you turn this cross dowel piece you're actually gonna use the hex tool to tighten this. So let me scooch back. One more little turn here, because I'm trying to show you this in an office that's set up for, you know, office work and not filming. Although I do make videos, just not put, how to put them together videos. So I'm gonna drop this carefully in here so that it faces, and the screw goes in super easy. Oops, I did that too soon though. Ah, you get a little cocky and then you're just like, wait, what? So you do have to have the, oh, the little cross dowel in there before you actually push the screw in. So cross dowel, drop, and here we go. So I've got my little hexadecimal, hexadecimal, I've been watching The Martian, my little hex tool, and I'm just going to turn and you don't actually have to hold the uh, cross dowel in place, which is really nice, honestly. So I'm just turning it. Okay, that's starting to tighten up nicely. So, here we go. Just tightening it up with the hex tool. Oof. Here we go. Boom. So yeah, it's really nice because the wooden dowels actually guide you to where you're supposed to put these things together. 
Okay, so we want to repeat that with the remaining rails and the remaining side. So the good news is, is that you cannot do this wrong because they've made these dowels a different size than the screws. So you just start dropping things on here and you can check to make sure that you're doing it right, but I'm just gonna go for it. Whoops! Did I? All right, I got really overconfident and I forgot to actually put in the top and bottom before I attached the last side. So learn from my mistakes. All right, let's unattach one of these little bad boys. I feel like such a moron. I hate it when this happens. Happily though, it's not that hard to take apart, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Okay. <sighs> oh, hi bud. Hey baby. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to attach the parts now, so don't forget that this is the top and there are two holes, yeah I hear ya, um, at the bottom. So I'm going to slide this in this way. So I've got it upside down basically, but anyway, I'm gonna slide this in and I'm losing my little cross dowels, but it's okay, so, because I can find them. So there's that one. I can't win, man. All right. Okay, and then this is actually the bottom and we're gonna do this. It doesn't, you don't actually have to sort of slide it in. It's just, it's perfectly notched, which is really nice. I mean, this is a really nice construction here. Okay, and there goes the fourth one. I can't even. So here we go again. It's upside down. Put it together. One eternity later. All right, so now that you've got it put together and it is upside down, right? It's super easy to flip it over. You put the galvanized tray on the bottom, which I'm going to do in a minute, and then you have to put the light in. So I suggest you do the light first. So first thing I'm going to suggest is that you have the light properly plugged in. Which side do you want it to come out on? So let's see. I'm going to have it over there, and there's a plug over there. So this works. I'm going to slide it in here. Now, this clamp is a really, really good clamp. And the reason I say that is because it is a pain in the tuchus to get these things in and out. So you basically, you can't do like one side and then the other. You have to start it, sort of wedge it along one side completely, kind of roll it, ooh, and snap it in place. Okay, that went better than I thought it would. Okay, turn this over. And voila. So you can see the tray goes in the bottom um, right over that sticker that I'm not going to bother trying to get off. You can also buy an additional tray for the top, which I'm totally going to do because otherwise it's just open. You know, you're losing some storage space. So go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and move this onto the shelf where it goes. Okay, so here it is on the shelf. There's the other one with the actual lights that are working. So there are, let me come over here and show you. Very gingerly turn this around. You can see on the back, 
the holes on either side to do the wall mounting. And if I tip, well, I don't have to tip it. Here we go. No, nope, I do have to tip it. I lied. So if I tip it woo, gently and try not to drop the stupid thing, um, you can see, see those little two drilled holes there. There's one on either side and that is where you would install the feet. So that was the most professional video ever. So here's the one that I did last night. Here's the one that I did today. There's the box with the leftover parts and oh, there's the feet. So yeah, so you can see, you can install the feet if you want to, um, but I don't. And they don't need to be hung on the wall in my house, but that should be pretty self-explanatory when you get it put together. In fact, let's look here. This is backwards, ugh. All right, turn it around. <laughs> so this is the back part. Those are the wall anchors right there. That's where you put the wall stuff in. So it's gonna need to be flipped around. So I'm gonna do that after I finish up the video. All right, so I hope that that was helpful for you, possibly amusing. Here's the one with the light on. Here's the one with the light off. I did flip it back around so that the two, the two spots for the wall anchors are on the back. I will have to pull the light out, obviously when I get the replacement. Anyway, I did let the guy know uh, at Gardener Supply that these directions are crap. He said he would make a note and they read the notes like every week. So yeah, anyway, um, happy gardening.